Boo, 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 boo. Welcome back to boo, 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 boo. We're back for Danny's good and bad points about the world of Porncraft because this is this series I'm going to rename to Rift, where we talk about WoW nonstop. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and with Legion and blooming on the horizon. Oh, did you see the release date for Legion? Is like, is it July the thirty first or was it like the start? Of, I think it was. Or was it June the thirty first? June the 30th, sorry, because I know for, uh, for Legion. Yeah, the release date was announced, and it was like really pretty much close to the point where they said they were going to release it anyway. Oh, hang on a minute! I've got dual monitors now. Wow. I thought that wasn't until August. I don't remember what it is. It could be August. I'm checking now. August the 30th, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Danny, I've fallen off and can't get up. Oh, you're down here too. Yeah, I'm down here too. <laughs> so yeah, basically, this is gonna rift is legion and wow. And anyway, so you've mentioned two of your bad points. To recap, so far your bad points are the garrisons and the garrison mission system. And your yeah. good point is the bonus event thingy quest that you can do leveling up. And while I personally, as well. I like I like that system as well, but I wish there was more variety to it, and there was like ones that popped up randomly at max level, just so you can go out and do something. Kind of like what they're doing with Legion's um, end game content system at the minute, if you've seen it. Yeah, Legion's bounty system is way better. Yeah, well, especially because it's all end game, isn't it? You get like pick your missions on the map, and then you go do it, and then you can come back. Blah blah blah. Did you, oh, did you see though the? <laughs> The uproar about the um, about the garrison table in Legion. <laughs> no. Oh, in your order halls, the garrison command table has made a return. The backlash from the community was amazing to watch. Yeah, but mm. we we'll, we'll, we can discuss Legion and its controversy in another episode because for now we're talking about you and your. Five good and bad things about Walls of Draenor. So, wait, where are you going next? <laughs> you have three more bad and four more good. Uh, I like the overall uh, story of like the uh, questing in each of the zones, basically. Yeah, I agree. Questing was good until you hit endgame and then the story just sort of vanished. And it was like, yeah, yeah we didn't really think about anything. Here's Gul'dan, so Legion set up, bye. <laughs> yeah. And that was how, what happened. That's how all odds went. It had a really good quest. So you're going for like, the good point is a questing system, basically. You like questing lore and questing areas. Uh, and yeah, but yeah, the lore. Or the, the, the story of the Questing part of. I war. feel yeah. I feel like yeah. We should just definitely specify that. It's really good up until in the game when it all just died. The, 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 the zones are good. Yeah. Boop, boop, boop. The rest not really. <laughs> well, we say the zones are good. The zones are good apart from one. Tan boring jungle. Where your questing experience was like two quests and then you had yeah, yeah, the rest jungle. of your life. Yeah. The the Tanan jungle that should yeah, have been in the release like version of the game is a level hundred zone, but there was like, oh no, we don't need a level hundred zone in fucking Warlords of Drano because we don't give a shit about content. Yeah, I feel like they really just put all of their like effort into making the initial expansion and then the patches are not really content. my favorite one uh, about patch 6.1 that wasn't actually a patch is the thing that like one of the developers come out and said it yeah this wasn't meant to be a big patch it was meant to be uh 6.0.1 as just like a minor patch of things some of the developers have been working on that were ready to be added to the game and then and then like someone else came out from this and was like no this is patch 6.1 and then it was just like contradicting each other it's quite funny but anyway so, one of your good points is the questing experience. You know what I liked? Having a cutscene at the end of each area it was really nice. And I like the way it didn't feel like overly linear. 
And what I'm really looking forward to in Legion, it's going to like boost the quest XP so much that you can do the zones in any order you want because of descaling. That's going to yeah. be great. Yeah, you know, I don't understand why they don't just apply the scaling to the rest of the game. That's if I was right, if <coughs> not now at the minute, but when Legion comes out, if I was Blizzard, I'd go, okay, we've just made the scaling system that works well. You know, people could do any zone they want. I would apply that to the rest of the game. It would bring so much life back into like leveling up. You won't have to go through the same zones every single time. You can pick and choose what zones you want. Especially now with heirlooms, half the fucking zones don't get used or get finished because by the time you fucking halfway done, yeah, it's over. You know, you've finished leveling up. It's all like, oh yeah, we've um been in this zone for two seconds and now we've finished it because of heirlooms. And yeah. everyone just dungeon runs for it. But if you apply the scaling system, it wouldn't matter if you have heirlooms or not. You could stay in that zone for as long as you wanted. Until, obviously, you hit, like, 58 when you would go to Outland. Do you know, it's literally possible to get from 0 to 100 within 5 hours. Well, yeah, because of heirlooms and XP boost. Well, there's not, like, 300% yeah. XP boost you can get. Yeah, times 2. They stack. <laughs> You could just imagine that, right? Oh, uh, you want to do it faster? Refer a friend. You could just use it. They could just apply the scaling level system to everything, and it would it would be perfect. You could do yeah. the zones you want in any order, and you could actually finish the zone to look, look at the lore instead of going, well, shit, I've been here for a level, now I have to move on because I'm fucking out leveled the zone. <sighs> anyway, so, now we've talked about the questing experience, so, this shit. Um, so that is one of your good points about what is the questing experience. So what 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 else have you? Regular pinata. The fuck. What else have you got to say about uh, your good and bad points of Warlords of Panel? Um. Not really sure. <laughs> what else is there? The raids? You you can think of anything. You got your good and bad points. Oh fuck, Danny! I ruined everything. Help me. What did you do? I accidentally punched him in the face. <laughs> I'm not even joking. My fist came out and I smacked him in the face. <laughs> is you a stormtrooper? Will you fucking help me? Yes. Come on, think of Warlords of Draenor. You've got you've got another three good points to make and another three bad points to make. Cheat. Uh. That trooper just left. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Um. I don't know. I was thinking the uh, pit battles, but that wasn't mists. Uh. That was mists, and we're talking about Warlords of Draenor. Yeah. Mm. What else? The raids. The dungeons don't really seem to be part of the uh, the story. Um. Um. Well, well some of them. I'm but. Just trying to think. The um, upper black rock spire did that sort of fitted in with the whole Garrosh and that kind of tied yeah. up that night neatly. Yeah. Uh, Skyreach was a little bit random. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what else was there? It's, uh, Blood Mild, the Slag Mines things. Well, we can't really say about the Slag Mines, because I haven't really done the storyline in Frostfire Ridge. I have. Did it, did it? No, not, not really. Oops. So I can't attack these. So well, just... I don't really know how he did that. <laughs> Can you just like come out? Just remove your disguise by right clicking on there. <laughs> I'm pretty good at this game, aren't I? I'm, I have no idea how you <laughs> did this. <laughs> See, I, I think the dungeons are a bad thing in Warlords of Draenor because they're repetitive 
they're boring. You never yeah. actually needed to do them because you got the gear from your garrison. You out-leveled them in about two seconds, and there's only, what, like, eight of them? <laughs> actually, I don't even think there are eight of them. <laughs> there's uh, Everbloom, which I don't see fitting in anywhere either, by the way. I quite like to have a uh, bloom though. It was nice. Yeah, it was one of my favourite dungeon. Yeah, but I don't really see it fitting in anywhere in the story. Okay, so there's ever bloom. There was a uh, upper black rope spire, bloodmore slag mine, sky reach. There's one more. Uh, shadow moon burial grounds. Yes. And there's more than that, and there's one. There was one uh, arkin dune. Yeah, that's right. That's six. There's more than six. Oh, that's one that was eight. Uh, what else? Uh, what other dungeons are there? Hold on. Hang on, I'm, I'm, I'm just checking it out now. I, I went on to Google, and Google. I've already Googled it, Danny. So have I. Yeah, well, one page is loading. Oh, Grim Rail Depot and the Iron Docks. Yeah. That was what they were doing. I told you that way. Fine. But, like, which ones actually fit? Ocean Dune fits very well. Yeah. Uh, given that. The slag mines. Uh, iron no, Docks really. and Green Rail Depot go together, and they sort of. They fit in more of the Iron Docks, the, the um six, patch 6.1, too, whatever patch it was, where the actual yeah. fucking docks were introduced. Yeah. Excuse me. Hey, it happened to me. <laughs> oh, damn it. I can't. Is this another hazing trick? No, no. So, are you putting dungeons under bad, then? Overall dungeons, yes. Mm, okay. Do you know what I'm going to put under bad? PvP. I don't do PvP. <laughs> yeah, but we can have an outside look because in Worlds of Draenor, they got no battlegrounds, no arenas, no updates, and a wannabe fucking uh, what was that battle in? Uh, they, you know, it goes from. Uh, they got the they get they got Ashran, right? Yeah, but it's basically a wannabe tour and mill versus South Shore, or whatever it was. Yeah. That didn't go well because no one was playing because everyone was in their garrisons. Also, it sucked. Yeah, Ashran was right. And it was like, you kind of, it was like trying to entice PvE players in by going, hey, look, there are bonus quests on this place you can do. Oh, this is just ridiculous. I don't really know what the fuck we're doing. Hey, I deceived a Storm Leger. A Storm Leger. I don't fucking understand what I'm doing. Um. <sighs> Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of clueless right here as well. I'm just wandering about at this point. <laughs> you're doing something you're not allowed to. <laughs> okay. I can talk to the banker. Storm Legion Trooper, I've got to deceive this guy. Hey there, buddy. I've heard rootings when I was all capacity officer at all. Oh, shit. He doesn't like me anymore, does he? What's in here? I found a room. Dude, there are suspicious sausages down here. Um, Legion office. Hey, we need to talk. Oh no, I failed to address him. Now he wants to murder me. Shit. Excuse me, your excellency. You know, another thing I hate about Warlords of Draenor, it has been the most ex uh, most expensive expansion so far. And it has had the least content. Yeah. It doesn't really have any end game content. It has no content, but questing. Yeah. 
Also, they seem to have really just, you know, wanted people to get a lot of Apexes, it but seems they like all... don't really give any reason for people to get Apexes. It, it, all it seems like is that, I don't know, they just don't seem to care about the game. No. I don't even see it's just like, oh yeah, look, we just want your fucking money, 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 money. The more money we can get, the better. Oh, apparently I wasn't allowed to pick that up. Yeah, I can buy some tea from him. Well, meanwhile, while you fight those, I'm gonna sneak sneakily do it. <laughs> Did it. Bye. Well, I need to pick it up as well. Oh, you... I have to poison it too. Yeah. Poisoning things. <sighs> Shit. You, yeah. Another thing is that the developers have had a lack of communication with the player base's expansion. I mean, yeah. since they lost Ghost Crawler, the developers just don't even fucking talk, and then they like don't take feedback from anyone, and then they have a crappy attitude towards people. Like that one time when the, Ian has a coast disc was like, "You think you want it, but you don't." I mean, how dare he tell us what we fucking want? <laughs> what Nostalgia has had what a million people. Well, yeah, people want Let's legacy servers, up. and he's all like, you think you want legacy servers, but you don't, and it's like... The fact that Nostalrius basically got further than their current player base kind of says a lot. And they're like, but you think you want it, but you don't. Yeah, that makes all of the sense, you know. Okay, so I've just got to access this communications room. Here, you know what was you know what I like. Definitely liked? not the right place. One thing that was good about Warlords was the hidden treasure system that they put in and the one-time rares. I really liked all that stuff. That was good. Yeah, that gave you a reason to go out in the world for more than fucking two seconds. Yeah, it let you go out for like two and a half a second. Another thing, the new yeah, models. That additional half a second. The new models there. were good. That was a good thing. Yeah. How the hell did we access this? Tel oh, more well, simpler than I expected. But I need this footlocker. Yeah, and the heirloom tab was nice. Quality of life change. The only thing I'm looking forward to in Legion at the minute is the new map, the questing system, and the, the new um, fucking transmog system. And the bounty system. That's the end game content, so I'm not going to talk about that. We don't really know what's happening with it because it's still a lot. There's not very much on it at the minute. No, they said that the bounty system is basically going to be the same as in Diablo 3. Uh, one of the things that I hated most about Warlords was the fucking reputation grinds. Every single rep was a fucking grind yeah. of killing mobs, and I just wanted to end myself. Danny, I have fucked up. Yeah, uh, which one's the... that one? Okay. Why can I not attack these? Okay, there we go. See, the only thing with Warlords that I didn't like story-wise is the fact that there was so a big bad horde of old comes through the dark portal, takes Neverguard Keep, and then we just walk through the portal and like completely trash them with no setbacks or casualties. Yeah. And like most of the Warlords were just killed instantly. <laughs> Some of them weren't even raid bosses. Yeah. Some of them were... Yeah, like half of them are just part of quests. Yeah, like... Half of these are not in line of sight. Right, so Gul'dan didn't die. Yeah, he will die, but he hasn't died in Warlords. Um, Gromash didn't die. Nazul died in a dungeon. Kilrog... I think Kilrog's dead now. Yeah, Kilrog's dead. It wasn't a black hand. Kilrog, black hand, and Nazul, and Nazul were the only ones to die, I think, weren't they? I can't target those three. Oh, well, let's just go. They're, <laughs> they're not in line of sight. They're not doing any damage. Mm. 
Come on, gotta go kill these kill storm these, uh, suspicious, suspicious guards. But it was a bit strange, and it was like, what? <laughs> like, they took Navigard Keep out again, and I mean, just why rebuild Navigard Keep at this point? I See, I would have liked it more if it would have been like, more like, like the first patch or something. I don't, I don't know, the first patch was we open, we reopened the Dark Portal and we went and like took out some orcs back on our Azeroth that were like still setting up an attack in Stormwind or something. And I just, I don't know, just something, because it was a bit weird. It was like, hey, you've built this Iron Horde and by the way, we just destroyed you and now we're going to carry on. Yeah. I mean, we the, ended up... Like, the entirety of the introduction story is not that good. It was so weird. We ended up being fucking friends with Grom as well, who's responsible for killing off, like, half of the Draenei population. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucking yeah. mass genocide. And then we're like, yeah, it's okay. We can forget you for invading our planet and causing a mass genocide. But, you know, that's fine. We don't need that. Mm -hmm. It just felt like it was like, oh, we don't really know what we want to do for our next expansion, so here, go back to like the first war and fight Archimonde again. It was so shit. Yeah. It's a good thing that they updated the models and all that now. It is pretty now. It's pretty. Right, it's time to end the sec episode, Spanborg. Holy shit. Well, I hope you enjoyed the infiltration. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And until oh. next time, Kyle will put on his disguise as well. So I will? Oh, okay. Look forward to that.